Hey beauties, welcome to my channel. So, I know, I know what some of you are thinking. I've been MIA. This is a long time no see situation, but I am here now. I will try to be more consistent with my uploading. However, know that I do have a full time job, and of course, my beautiful family is my priority. YouTube is only a hobby, so again, you won't get rid of me that easily. I like doing this, but I do have priorities. Anyway, so today I was thinking about sharing with you my drugstore favorites, so without any delay, let's get to it. So I am going to start by speaking to you about my favorite drugstore primer, and that would be the NYX Angel Vel. So this does exactly what it claims to do for me. It gives me a perfect silky base for my makeup to go on and it does slightly prolong the wear of my makeup. I feel like not every drugstore primer out there has an effect on my skin and if a primer is not going to do anything for me, why wear it underneath my makeup? This one gives me a beautiful base and like I said, it does prolong the wear of my makeup. Because of that, I really enjoy this primer. Moving on, I'm going to speak to you about my favorite foundation, and this one would be the Milani Conceal and Perfect. This foundation is not a joke. When people say on reviews that it's full coverage, they mean it. If you have freckles, this has you covered. If you have any imperfections, I'm pretty sure you can build this up to cover anything. This is full coverage. Again, not a joke. It covers your deepest, darkest secrets. Your deepest imperfections I'm sure and I don't think you would need concealer again I do not have problematic skin if you want a background on my skin I do have an oily t-zone uh, the area around my mouth is dry I also have dry spots around my eyes and this works beautifully uh, the longevity of it would be about eight hours it gives me about an eight hour wear when I pair it with my angel bell primer I do have to blot about twice within those eight hours, but other than that, it lasts pretty well. It does start breaking down on me after a long day of work, but other than that, it performs perfectly fine. Now I'm going to speak to you about my favorite drugstore concealer, and that would be the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. As you can see, this little guy right here is very well loved. I completely run out of it. I bought it in the shade Neutralizer. I usually combine this concealer right here with other drugstore ones whenever I want a medium, medium, not completely full bulletproof coverage underneath my eyes. Whenever I just want some light coverage, I will go for this one and I'll combine it with the Maybelline Fit Me. Speaking about bronzers, my favorite bronzer at the moment would be the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I would swatch it, but this wouldn't give it justice. If your skin tone is darker than me, this probably wouldn't show up on you. But if you're around my skin tone or lighter, this would look beautiful. Every single product I'm speaking to you about right now, I am wearing at the moment. I have this bronzer on right here on my temples, also as, as my cheek bronzer. And what I love about this is that it's not too warm not too cool it's my perfect bronzer shade sometimes things make you look a little bit orangey sometimes some bronzers can make you look a little bit muddy but this one right here again for a person my skin tone or lighter i'm pretty sure you would love this bronzer so now i'm going to speak to you about one of my favorite contour palettes and that would be the wet and wild mega glow in caramel toffee this right here is very well loved and you will see it on the banana shade. I've already hit pan on this powder. This is my favorite powder to set underneath my eyes whenever I put concealer on. I feel like it gives me a yellow tint which helps me combat those dark circles and it's just very buttery. I don't feel like it dries my eyes out. The shade right here next to it, it's a very nice bronzer, but it can get a little orangey if you just have a heavy hand. So if you have a light complexion, be careful with this shade right here. For deeper complexions, I think it would look beautiful. Now let's speak highlighter. For highlighters, my favorite drugstore highlighter at the moment, and I am wearing it, it's a Revolution Makeup 
highlighter and it's a vivid baked highlighter it's in the shade golden light is this highlighter right here I am wearing it on my lids I'm wearing it on my cheekbones too let me swatch it for you it's this color right here my favorite highlights tend to be the gold ones the ones with the gold sheen and this just gives me a beautiful golden glow because of that this highlight is just power to me I want to wear a good golden highlight I'll gravitate towards this one a lot of the time even over some of my high-end highlights the color it's just perfect it's kind of yellow gold kind of pale white as well it just it gives you a beautiful glow I really really enjoy this highlight this this is my color when it comes to blush wet and wild does it again for me and my favorite blush at the moment and I'm not lying to you I'll grab these over my high-end ones is wet and wild mellow wine this is a perfect terracotta brownish blush I love it Sometimes companies overdo it with the pink blushes. Sometimes you want to see a little more terracotta, a little more of these types of colors. This color I really enjoy. If you know about other blushes that are similar to this color, please let me know. I'm always on the hunt for colors like this one. This is just a beautiful matte terracotta color. Again, I am wearing it on my cheeks, but I am going to swatch it for you. And this is a swatch of the blush right there so if you're in the market for a new blush something that's not pink try this one I love it it's literally my favorite literally my favorite blush at the moment when it comes to powder when it comes to fat powder my favorite one my favorite powder including high-end my favorite powder to set is the Maybelline matte and poreless so you can see it's very well loved. I've already hit pan on this. I'm going to buy a new one very soon. My shade is Natural Beige. Natural Beige number 220. This just, I feel like it doesn't accentuate my pores. It just gives me a little bit of color, but it doesn't overkill. It just lets my foundation give me a little bit of glow as well. It doesn't over mattify me. I just really enjoy this powder. For mascaras, let's face it. For mascaras, I just... I simply couldn't pick one. I have two right here. And this one is the CoverGirl Super Sizer. This is this is actually one of my new found loves. I really enjoy this mascara. This mascara gives me length like no other. I love it. It separates my lashes very efficiently. I don't feel like it makes them clumpy. Not spidery at all. It's just a very good mascara overall. And this one right here is a voluminous carbon black. Most of you have heard about it, I'm sure. It's just awesome. It gives you plenty of volume. It fills your lashes. I just, I love these two mascaras. A lot of the times I'll combine them. Sometimes I'll wear them by themselves. These two are awesome. You can't go wrong with either or. When it comes, when it comes to brows, my favorite brow product over all would be this one. It's a L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I wear it in the shade Brunette and this just, I feel like this makes my brow game way, like a million times easier. It doesn't overdo my brows, it doesn't make me look angry, it doesn't, I mean, it's a pencil. You have to be careful whenever you're doing your brows on how you use it, but it's it's just it's just perfect once you get the handle of it it's creamy enough it's not rough it, you don't have to tug it's just a beautiful 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 brow product it sets and I don't have problems with it it lasts all day my eyebrows stay put and defined when it comes to lip products Milani really does it for me too I have my favorite drugstore lip liner I'm telling you, Milani does awesome lip liners, but this shade, this shade, this shade is just my favorite one. This is Spicy by Milani, and again, it's kind of like a terracotta brown. I'm wearing this on my lips right now, but I am wearing it with two other products. I'm wearing it with the Milani Lipstick Sweet Nectar. I'm wearing a little bit of this on my lips as well. 
and again this is a beautiful orange orange color if you're looking for an orange lipstick Milani has you covered this is a beautiful orange color for the summer I really enjoy it by itself sometimes I'll mix it with blue based red so my red can be more orangey I this has just a bunch of uses for me again today I mixed it with this lip liner and another lipstick that I'm about to speak about the other lipstick is by L'Oreal and it's called ever bloom ever bloom it's just the perfect summer shade let me swatch it for you it's a beautiful coral pink I don't know I just I love this shade this is a perfect summer shade pinkish corally I just love it this is one of my favorite summer colors ever bloom by L'Oreal to finish this off I'm going to share with you my favorite setting spray this one right here it's a make it last by Milani as you can see Milani is a very well loved brand by me but I do find that their products are very very good they're effective and they are very decently priced um, this set setting spray claims 16 hour wear it's very refreshing it's one of the best mists you'll find drugstore high-end I don't care it has the perfect fine just just a beautiful mist and it has a wonderful scent since I discovered this Milani setting spray I haven't bought my Mac fix plus I haven't even touched my urban decay one that's, that's how good this is. so we've come to the end of this video I hope that you found it somehow helpful or entertaining do believe me when I say that every product I spoke about here I really enjoy or I gravitate to on a daily basis these are truly my favorite drugstore products and I really hope that if you purchase them you have a similar effect similar experience as I do do take into consideration that every skin type is different anyhow I'll let you go do not forget to subscribe and comment down below tell me what your favorite drugstore products are if you think I should try something definitely let me know believe me if you write it down I'll probably be very tempted to purchase it and try it myself also if you have any video ideas don't hesitate in letting me know don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you here next time goodbye